The Hunting Edge, brought to you by Excalibur, the world's most accurate hunting crossbow, guaranteed. I'm going to talk to you about different ways of cleaning geese and then also different ways of cooking geese as well, which is important. Now first of all, what we have here is a fully plucked bird. Uh, we leave a wing on for transportation purposes so that COs can, know what, can determine what it is. This takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to pluck that bird and you can only eat so many roast geese. So what I'd like to do is show you how you can fully, fully utilize a Canada goose and clean it very quickly and uh, then discuss how you could cook this bird as opposed to the, uh, the fully cleaned one here. So this is the way I do it anyways, and uh, I've kinda, I like to think I've perfected over a number of years of cleaning geese. I only pluck the very center of the bird. There's the sternum there. So you put your knife right along the sternum, Oops. And, and you wanna stay right close to it, and do it on both sides, and get right down to the breastplate, right to the bottom. Then I turn the bird around, and then you bring this down, and then you're, you're hitting the wishbone, so you need to angle. So you angle down towards the shoulder, you can see it there, and same with this one. Then you angle down towards the shoulder, and then you want to push this apart. This is the, the downward flight muscle here which separates out. A lot of people leave that muscle behind. You don't want to do that. It's delicious, and you want to take it with, with the, uh, the breast meat. Now there's a tendon right down here where that downward flight muscle or supracaricoideus uh, joins. So you get that, cut that off, and then you just kind of flay it back like this. You can see there's the breast there, and here you cut this wing meat here. So then you can see the skin, and here you can just flay it back like that. And then you do the other side exactly the same way. Now, um, some people don't like to take the legs. I think the legs are delicious. Um, they're a little bit more difficult to take. What you do is you just you bend it back to disjoint that leg like that. You can see it's disjointed there. And then you want to have a, a really sharp knife. And then you just want to cut that leg off. And then you can spend some time taking the feathers off. You can at the joint there. So there's your leg meat. Again, it'll take a few minutes to take those feathers off. And then if you want to fully utilize the bird, which is something I believe in, you can go in through the side here. And there you cut those ribs. Very easy to cut. Go in. And you can see here, there's the liver. You just cut it off right there. There's only one spot really that you need to cut it. And then you just pull it out. Actually, it's attached to the gizzard a bit. So there's the gizzard, or the, uh, the liver, sorry. And then, if you like heart, you could pull the heart out as well. So now what I would do, obviously, is I take the other breast off and the other leg, but you can see it virtually takes minutes to clean this bird. Doing it this way, you're full, fully utilizing the bird, you're doing it much more quickly, and then when it comes to cooking the bird, you've got, you've got different options. So what I would do here is I take this breast meat and either smoke it, and it's, it's delicious smoke, you can take it to a butcher and they'll smoke it or do it yourself, or you can cook it on a barbecue. I tend not to do that, sometimes it gets a little tough. Um, you, can, you can cut it up and stir fry it. What we do often is we'll get the express meat made into pepperoni and it's wonderful. Then the leg meat, I would, uh, I would marinate those legs for a couple of days, cook them on a barbecue or preferably on a slow cooker. And then what we like to do is just save up all these livers through the season, put them in a bag, and then at the end of the season, preferably right before Christmas, make goose liver pate. And as you can see here, we don't have a wing attached to this meat, but that's quite simply because we're going to eat this meat right now. So uh, we were okay to take the wings off. And that's my tip to give you the edge.